YouTube viewers and random Doctor Who fans, just a little bit of extra, extra Vote Saxon 07 goodness for you. We're joined by Anthony Murney from Two Penny Milk, a wonderful channel, you should go subscribe to it. And we're just going to talk about some of the Sonic Screwdriver prop replicas that I've amassed in my glorious, glorious collection of wonder. Now, whenever I did the toy review of this, I said it wasn't really my favourite design. And I'm starting to warm to it, because I do mm. think it looks very, very different from all the Sonics that we've seen thus far and talking about those we're going to start off with something i haven't actually reviewed yet which is this this is the fourth dr sonic i love it so much this is the 1612 replica i like the design of it it's it's simple and obviously it's it's based off the original design of the third dr sonic except it doesn't have the little yeah, i he, call it the helter skelter that's actually good one, you're just like yeah, right yeah. in the middle and then you can turn it and go Did oh mysterious why does, that he changed it no, it, it's just because there were um they were redeveloping the prop and they just decided to spray paint it all silver. Yeah. But of course the original Sonic Screwdriver was the little pen light. Yeah, the wee tiny wee light. The one that Triton used. You only used it about two but Apparently the, like, this is a prop from one of the Thunderbirds maybe from back in the 60s. It's like a little device that's sitting... You know whenever they use the actual adult hands? Yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's one of the little devices that's ah. sitting there. But yeah, I love this. I, I don't think anything is ever going to beat this in terms no, of design. Because no. it's, it's basically the original, let's yeah. say. As a custom Sonic piece, because obviously the original was just a, a basic pen light. And I love the collar as well. You, know, you can just sort of move it up and down. I don't even know it goes that far. Oh yeah, it goes like pretty much to there. I know that at the fourth Doctor, it always, like, sometimes he would put it down at that. Much. Yeah. And then I know that I think... Like foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> I know that at one point he did take this off. He did, yeah. And I... I'm it's not so sure if you can take this one off, and I don't even want no, to try no, to. No, no, But yeah, no, I love it, and I love the design as well because of the, the magnet that they yeah. put on to the, uh, to the emitter itself. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, there's nothing really beating that in terms of the classic look, except for this. Yeah. I love this. My favourite Doctor also has one of my favourite Sonics. This is the 8th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. Uh, ironically enough, I only found out recently, this is technically inaccurate. Because on one of the props that was made for the uh, the TV movie, there's a little sort of ball bearing there. And when you just press that the down, is. yeah, pretty much just above the gold part. Okay. And whenever you press that down, that's what extends it. And All that's right. something that I really, really love about the Eighth Doctor Sonic, because it is collapsible. And for years, nobody believed me. But no, I, would, I knew for a fact that, that it was collapsible. So you do that, and it pops open. That's kind of weird, because if you think about it now, right, just say with the, with the Eighth it kind of similar to the eleventh because the eleventh you extend, and yeah, goes down. <laughs> yeah, no, I like that. Well, technically it does extend. So, so it seems that each Sonic has kept something from its original. Sort Pretty of, much, sort yeah. of like the Doctor retains his some bit of his his memory and stuff. But I, I, think I, I do like that. I'd like whenever the prop flips open because it looks like that's it in use, and then you know you you, you close it down and put it in your pocket. But talking about one Sonic kind of having traits of the other, then we come to the War Doctor Sonic. Oh, this yeah. is this, uh, this was brilliant. I loved it. This is made by RB Replicas. This is the same people that made uh, the Eight Sonic. Uh, I I love this because it's a nice little sort of mix between classic <clears throat> and revived series. See, this is what I like about it now. If you notice with this one, right, there's the, the like burgundy color. Yeah. So if you change it, it's basically like this is went down here and then they put an LED light on the top. I, I like yeah. the way they've, they've, they've shown it. They have the totally where, well, not well, in the way where the matter is, but... It's it's basically the, um, it's the classic body, yeah. but we get the end cap, uh, which kind of looks like a fez. Yeah. And uh, we also get the light up emitter, which is something that, which is prevalent in the new series of Sonics. Well, let's take a wild departure from that and talk about this. This is a custom made replica of uh, Serge in... The late, lovely Elizabeth Sladen's Sonic Lipstick, which, even as a guy, I think that's really cool. You know, I like, love the design the of it. The thing about it too, right, uh, you wouldn't take a lap lipstick out, uh, you know, you wouldn't think it's a weapon or a sonic screwdriver. I think that's very ingenious. Indeed. Very, very small. Made you know, from a real... It had didn't it? In, in, in the, in it did. It had the... Whenever it was open. So that would, thing. like, destroy a lock. Yeah. And then the other one... It had the... Zzzz, but... Yeah, that made from a real Estee Lauder lipstick case. The only thing that was made, this uh, emitter was milled. And then right. the little thing in the end of it. I still think it's beautiful. Only right? lights up, though. It doesn't make any sound. But it's cool. Because, look, lipstick. Lipstick. Remember when you were a kid and your mom was putting on her lipstick, you know, to go out for a wee night out and she was like that and all that sort of thing. And then you would come over and go, it twists as it lifts up. 
That's insane. Yeah, I did the I did the the other thing was I thought it was like this. I was like, ooh, what's this to? I went, hmm. Oh, it's not food. No. <laughs> No, it, that's that's the it one. It looks like it should be edible, but it's not edible. He's like, ah, you deceived me. <laughs> and then another item is the Sonic Pen. This is again a replica. This isn't the one that was released alongside the tenth Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. This should have more screen time. It should have, yeah. Also, I've never seen a replica of this yet that extends because the Sonic Pen extends. Sure. Like that's it in closed mode. The toy version is molded in open mode. But basically, Miss Foster when she uses it in. Um, Partners in Crime, she slides it up. Oh, right. I didn't even know it extends. I thought that's just... Yeah, and then as it extends up, there's a little chamber on each yeah, side. Yeah. So whenever she hits the bottom or wherever it is, the I really switch. do wish that at the 10th Doctor had a cap that. Because yeah. he never... He just spins it. Like, what? Why? Because I, I love like the little noise it makes, you know, whenever he, he flips, flips it over like that and just looks at it and then chucks it apparently, in the bin. Apparently, now, don't quote me on this, but apparently someone said that was in the 50th anniversary. It probably was. It was Sitting probably, on the table. The yeah, like unit probably went yeah, through the yeah. bed after and was like, oh, for God's sake, Doctor. But then we have this, the beauty that is the ninth Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. Ninth and tenth Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. Uh, this is the one that made me really fall in love with Sonic Screwdrivers. Oh, yeah, it was, that was the first one I ever got. It's a little over-designed, I think. It looks too neat. Mm. Like, just with like the little kind of bevels on the you side there. You know more and stuff. about this. What is the blue part? For That's your sentence. So that's the sentence. See the way if you look at this very, very closely? Yeah. In fact, we'll show the nice people at home if it'll focus. It probably won't. But there's little uh, settings up the side of it. See that? Oh, yeah. It's probably more prevalent on my prop replica, which is broken at the moment. But the second it's repaired and brought home, I'll do the review. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, so that's why you have the slider. I, so I, you, th like you can put it, say, there. Yeah. And that'll match to one setting. Put it there and match to the other. I don't know why, but every time I seen this, right, I just like what the master did with the other screwdriver. I thought that the bottom part was to change the sentence. No. So it's actually here. So this is just. Well, maybe it does. I don't know. But like, apparently, I read one of those Doctor Who cross section books. Yeah. As a kid, and uh, well, a kid, sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> but, still a kid. Still a kid. But apparently, this end cap is supposed to be removable. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. And pretty much like how the one company version charges like this, this pops off, three little legs come out, and you stick it into the TARDIS console. Oh, for that would have been so cool to see. But they be. never did it. But no, I, I really love this design. I, I, it's small, perhaps a little too small, but it, it gets the job the done. And got the inside of it right as well, you know, the wee tiny... Yeah, the little like helix the, design. Yeah, 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 because like, it's not meant to be, it's meant to be like a creamy yellowy color but then the toy it was always yeah black. it was always black but Some they reason. eventually did do the yellow version for the day of the doctor and then we have this this is the Sassdale toy store 11th doctor sorry this is possibly my favorite design of all time yeah. in terms of proper replicas anyway because it just looks excellent it looks like it came out and of the, the war zone and the flick as well the flick is incredible on this i i do i also have the uh, the river song proper replica as well but uh it much like my tenth doctor one is broken but whenever it gets fixed, I'll hopefully do a review of it at some point in the future. But no, that's the the Celestial Toy Store version. I absolutely love this I one. See, look how well designed it is. I it's it's that. perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And then we get this. <laughs> we didn't do nothing. Did. No, we didn't touch it. <laughs> it was like this when we got here. <laughs> this is the rubber toe shark eating Sonic, and I love this Sonic for the simple reason. That I can just picture Nick going mental in his workshop one night. Sort of like he's got a load of the Eleventh Doctor Sonics, and he's like, "I hit everything! I just hit everything!" <laughs> and he starts smashing them, and then he goes, "Oh, hang on, I'm supposed to sell those shark eating Sonic." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I do. I like how it lights up. Like and even stuff the detail and... on all the scratches, you know, I love that. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think I actually took it like a angle grinder to that, and she went, "Me, the guy just went absolutely nuts." Yeah, no, I, I kind of like it because it's from my favourite Christmas special and I like the idea of, of the Sonic being half eaten by a shark and then using the other yeah, half of the I Sonic to track that, him that down. Christmas special was, I really loved it so, so that's much. basically the reason I had it. And then oh. we get to our current baby, which you've just seen the review of. And yeah, I like it. I think if there's one thing I would have done differently with it, I think that this whole section here, this should have collapsed so like, into exactly. this. Pretty much like that. Pretty much like the 8th Doctor's one. Um, <clears throat> but as it stands, looking at it as a prop replica, seeing it rendered in metal, you sort of do start to fall in love with it because it's radically different from what we've seen before. One second. 
Right, that's the character options one. Yeah. So you can see. Well, we, we, we've seen the review of it. Uh, we've seen the comparison in the review itself. Yeah. But like, I I didn't really like the design until I saw it do that. I thought that was good. Cool. I was hoping, praying that it would have a little collapsing part because then that means that the claws would come in I and keep love, this shut. I love the gold. I love the way the claws. The, the, yeah, the, claws the intricate is detail not, of it. Class. It is. It, it looks awesome. It's it's not my favorite. It's still not my favorite, but it is up there definitely. But I would have to go with the Eleven Sonic as my favorite. I also am a big fan of Nine and Tens. I love love the Eighth Doctors and. Who couldn't forget the fourths? What about you yourself, Anthony? Ah, now, I say that I'm not a fan of this. Now, the prop, you, you don't like it at all? I love the prop, but not a fan. It's just too big and clunky in the, in the thing. Yeah. I just don't like it. I do think it should have been collapsible. Yeah. I My preference, I love these. I love the fourth. I love the War Doctors, and I love the tenth. Yeah. This is the ones I love the most. But Absolutely. out of all of them is... The tenth one. You like the tenth? Ninth and yeah. tenth. That's that's the one. That's the one that I first, my very first time I ever got it, and I was happy getting it. So that's well, my. Honestly, opinion. for me, it's eleven because whenever I first saw the design, I was like, "What the hell is this? How can anything be as iconic as the ninth and tenths?" But then what I sort of realized about it is what I loved about it more was the fact that Matt, the way Matt Smith used it. But he not You know, like that. he does the whole flex, but he checks his readings. It's almost like he's looking in there and seeing a little computer screen or something. Yeah. I do. I all they see the the best boy of was in the fiftieth. Maybe just seen the two of them compare and go like. Yeah, and he's like. <laughs> I love the way they, they, the the tenth is one. <laughs> it's like that's compensating. Hey, regeneration. That's a lottery. But I also love what the Levin said with this. But before he, he had his, where he like, checked this bit. And was yeah. Looking here and he's like, is that like slowly with an idea what he had in his head was like. This is going to be now my, my reading, my, my scent. You know, yeah. I'm, Why didn't I do this before? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so that does it for a quick look at some of the Sonic Screwdrivers in my collection. So I can show you the 10th Doctor 1 or the River Song version. They were broken by people. But whenever I do get them back, um, I'll be doing full-length reviews of those as well. So let us know what's your favourite type of Sonic Screwdriver design. What would you like to see out of a proper replica version of it? Let us know in the usual shouting box in the comments. Anthony, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you very much. And this, I enjoyed seeing all these lovely props. On this escapade of madness. Uh, so, yeah, thanks very much for watching, folks. Farewell. That's it for this video. If you're new, please hit subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications. And keep up to date with my upcoming reviews by following me on all of my social media pages. And you can support me on Patreon like all of these lovely people. There's links to everything in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.